Thanks, guys. Hopefully you have a safe trip back to West Central Ohio and return to studio next week. Well, last week we had a chance to hear from Chuck Burling, missionary to Southeast Asia. 16 years ago, Chuck said yes to God, moved halfway around the world, and since then has story after story of how God has provided and continues to provide. Listen now as he shares how God has shaped and molded his life through that obedience. Perhaps it will resonate with something you are facing right now. In our flesh, we can't do it, but so many people try. It's, it's not going to happen by your strength. It's going to happen by the Holy Spirit, and it's going to happen by the strength of, of Jesus Christ. So the first thing I would say is, truly, you must give your whole self to him. Not holding back anything in any corner of your thinking, in any corner of your life, in any corner of your ways. You have to convert to Jesus Christ. As his word says, if you love me, you will deny yourself and pick up my cross and follow me. It doesn't say when you feel like it, and it doesn't say how you feel like doing it. He has specific ways that we're supposed to live, and he has a purpose for each person. That purpose does not get fulfilled except through him. As it says in the in uh, Psalm 138, verse 8, it says, He will fulfill His purpose in you. We don't live to ask God to bless what we decide to do. We live to know what we're to do, and God will bless it. Finally, let's just jump back to your ministry quickly, and can you share with our viewers the best ways that we can be an assistance for you, whether it's through prayer, through finances. Tell us how we can be a blessing to, to you as you continue to go out and do what God's called you to do. There's always need. Uh, we work in the garbage dump and in a, in a big slum. And, and we're stretched throughout the country of Thailand and in three other countries. Uh, to do training and to monitor ministries that we have planted. Uh, our needs are really basic. They're really, really very, very simple. Um, one of them is kind of big. We need a sidewalk truck, a sidewalk Sunday school truck where the side will fold down and we've got our, our screen on there, we've got our, our speakers, we've got our puppet stage, we've got everything on that truck. So we need that. That's a need. Uh, when that's going to come, I'm prepared to wait until that time. Uh, but we also do need prayer. And, and we, do, we do a lot of giving. That's our whole ministry. Children don't give, okay? They don't support this ministry with finances. And so we've always got to depend on the people who God puts on their heart to help us. And it's not everybody and it's not all the time. But from time to time we do these huge programs where we give a bag of rice, five pound bag of rice, to every child who comes to Kids Church. And that gets expensive. Sometimes we do a sundry package with a towel and a toothbrush and soap and, uh, and a washcloth and, and things like that. But those are, those are once in a while kind of things. When we need that, though, I would like to know that there are people who hear this today that will say, all we need to know is when they need it, and we'll be there for them.